time for the hot topic of the hour. The DOJ refusing to release the audio recordings of President Biden's interview with former special counsel Robert Herr. The Department of Justice did hand over Biden's ghostwriter transcript to try to appease House Republicans as they investigate Biden's mishandling of classified documents as a senator and a vice president. Jonathan, your reaction. How much more obvious can you be that there's something to hide than, than turning over the transcripts and not handing over the recordings? Um, you know, I, I just think it's ironic. You know, the Department of Justice, uh, the department tasked with handing down justice on behalf at the behest of the American people, is committing one of the greatest forms of injustice, as far as I'm concerned, by not being transparent with the American people, not being transparent with Congress. I, mean, I think the bigger issue here is a lot of people overlook uh, the meaning of misdemeanor here as it pertains to Garland. Uh, misdemeanor, uh, as defined in USC uh, Title II, is actually a, a crime punishable by up to a year in prison. It's nothing to snuff at. This is, wow. this is a big deal. Well, it's a big deal, but the DOJ is Biden's DOJ, and they're going to do what they want to do about it. I, I don't know if Republicans are going to be able to change this. Do you think they will affect change? You know, I, I, I certainly hope so. I mean, mm. the ball is in their court. They have the ability to enforce the law. Uh, everything is in their hands at this point. Mm. Uh, I don't think you just look at this and say, oh, well, you know, it's the Department of Justice uh, doing its thing again. I think you have to be, uh, I think you have to be straight and narrow here, and you need to yeah. get to the bottom line before the White House tries, tries to uh, change up the story once again, like it yeah, always well, does. We'll see if the contempt of Congress uh, has any weight and if that threat is enough